Hello friends, this video on determinant part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Let's take property 3. Property 3 says that if any two rows or columns of a determinants are identical, that is all the corresponding elements are same, then the value of determinant is 0. So let's prove this. Let's suppose there is a matrix and this is a determinant here. We have to prove that this guy is equal to 0. So here if you see this row, row 3 and row 1 are exactly identical. Now there are so many ways to prove it. One is we can just directly go and find the determinant of this and we will find that that is 0. The second easier way is since we have learned the property, there is a rule that says that the property which we have just now learned that if you interchange two rows, if you interchange two rows, whatever new determinant you get is nothing but a negative of that. So let me get a new determinant by interchanging row 1 with row 3. So in that case, I change row 1 with row 3, I will get a1 a2, a3 because these values are a1, a2, a3 made it up. Second is b1, b2, b3 and now these guys a1, a2, a3 I took it here. Correct. So in this case the relation is this guy is nothing but minus of this guy. Correct. So if this guy is some k, this guy is nothing but minus k. Correct. Why? Because the property just we learned that if you interchange two rows, then the value of determinant gets a negative sign. Now, if you can see clearly, this guy is exactly equal to this guy. How? If you match the element a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, a1, a2, b3, they are exactly same. And I am saying this guy is equal to this guy. I am saying that k is equal to minus k. Why? Because this guy value is k and this guy's value is minus k. Or I can say that 2k is equal to 0 or I say k is equal to 0. That means the determinant of this guy is 0 and determinant value of this guy is also 0. Without even solving, just using the property we have solved this. And that is the power of properties. We will explain more, we will solve more questions. There you see that using property without even expanding the determinant you can find the values. This, this helps to reduce complex determinant to simpler determinants. This is one example we had determinant we didn't even solve the determinant and we could tell that this value is 0. And we for the proof also we use another property to prove that this is the valid property. And if you want to find a crude method you can try that you can uh, just expand this and you see that the value comes out to be zero. I won't do that for you, you can do it as homework. You can try expanding this as a crude method and you'll see this value comes out to be zero. But here we'll realize the power of properties, the various property we get for determinants and using those properties that makes our life simple. So here what we have done, we have interchanged this determinant, uh, we have interchanged the rows of these determinant, row one with row three, to create a new determinant. And using the property, if this value is k, this value has to be minus k. But we saw that these determinants are exactly the same. That is k is equal to minus k. So we found k is equal to 0. Let's take one example with this property. So here we have to find the value of this. So what we have seen here is 3, 2, 3 this guy and this guy exactly matches. Since this guy exactly matches, I can straight away tell that this guy is 0. But again, since I have to prove the property, let me try to expand this using crude way. Let me do that. So I'll take this guy first. That's how I like because if I go with row 1, this guy is plus, this guy is minus, this guy is plus because i plus j is even or even. So I'll get 3 into, if you take this 6, uh, you are left with 6, 3 and 2, 3 minus 2 into, if you take this guy, you are left with 2, 3, 3, 3. 2, 3, 3, 3. If you take now this guy, 
you are left with 2, 6, 3, 2. Why? Because you can't take this. So you are left with 2, 6, 3, 2. You solve this, multiply diagonals, 3 into 6 into 3, 18, minus remaining part, 2 into 3 is 6, minus 2 into multiply diagonals, 2 into 3 is 6, minus remaining part, 3 into 3 is 9, plus 3 into multiply diagonals, 2 into 2, 4, minus remaining part, 6 into 3, 18. Correct? That's what we get. This is nothing but 3 into 12 minus 2 into minus 3 plus 3 into minus 14. Correct? 3 into minus 14. Yeah. So this is nothing but 2 into 3 36 plus plus minus minus plus 2 into 3 is 6 plus minus 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 13 into 3 into 14 is 42. This is nothing but 42 minus 42 that is 0. Thus we have proved that determinant of this matrix is 0. So in future we need not even solve it just by seeing the property that these were the same. I can say that this is 0. Let's take another. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.